Hi guys, welcome to the Kingdom. I'm Wanda and this is Deep South Homestead's first greenhouse. We have a second greenhouse that we've built on the other end that we haven't gotten anything in yet because we hadn't totally finished it. But this is Danny's greenhouse. And so we're going to tour around a little bit and I'm going to show you what's in it. Here's some magnolias that Danny's going to plant around the pond and this little guy here he sleeps here during the day and I'm pretty sure he's one of them that comes hopping down to the pier and jumps off into the pond at night and makes a lot of racket but he's asleep right now so we're gonna let him just sleep these were the beds that had the um, graze on in them so we dug all this out and replanted and Danny's planted a few um, onions they're starting to come up here so we'll have more onions I see them there they're just now coming up these I planted a week before, so they're doing great. These are the green multiplying onions that we don't want to lose. This is a um, purple merlot bell pepper, and it's got little ones on it. My tomato that's pitiful, but it's still there. Um, this is another bell. We've taken most of them off. This one has lots and lots of blooms. I've tied it up again yesterday but it broke one limb off here. We took the bells off of it. The onion chives doing great. Some of my flowers. This little plant starting to come back out. It's a tomato, a patio tomato. Here, some of these, but we've got bugs eating my mung, mung beans and my flowers. This is a flower that they're nibbling all over. I wish I could find the creature. The mung beans are hanging in there. Um, it looks like they may be fixing to bloom so that's pretty cool these peppers I want y'all to look how tall they're just all over the place um, not sure if there's any ready on these because Danny picks these these are the um, yellow Marconi's these are Danny's babies and let me show you something this is how tall I am look how tall those yellow Marconi's are look at this they're taller than me we have some and I've been taking some of these off because I don't want to weight the pe peppers down the plants and I've got some in the back that I'm leaving to let them get bigger these I will leave because they're not as big um, see I know my big ones is right in here. Look in there. I'm letting those turn yellow. Just taking some to eat. Sunflower has done its due. Malabar's just taken over. It's just loving on it everywhere. And here we have the Malabar and the Petunias. And back here, our strawberries are finally getting a holt and just going everywhere all right the peach tree here is still doing really great look at the peppers all in there I don't know if you can see but there's peppers everywhere we'll get to those in a few minutes peppers here the lemon tree is hanging in they're getting good sized lemons on them it's pretty good for a lemon almost to the size we need this is our um, I forgot the type orange, but look how brilliant it's coming out. We've got a little bug damage right in here. Something's nibbling at night, but it's beautiful. Danny's ochre little hydroponics hanging in there. The peach trees here are doing great. These peppers are loaded. We're going to get over there in a minute and get some of those off. I mean, even over here. They're just loaded. The pineapple's doing great. We're gonna take our basket. It's starting to grow and put on this little prettiness. This one's getting bigger. This citrus is doing really well. Looks awesome. The peach trees here and here, both of them are doing great. We're losing a leaf or two, but that's normal for peach trees this time of the year. They should shed before long. Our banana tree is hanging in there. It keeps putting on new leaves. Something's eat a little bit of this one, but for the most part, it's growing really well. Um, 
This is our Satsuma. It's doing really good. These are hanging in there and those over there, they're getting bigger and looking great. And like I said, Danny's sunflowers drooped and failed. They got eight to nine foot. They were done. Tonight we get a special treat. Look. Look at this blueberry grown in the greenhouse. Now we've eaten a couple off of here a couple of months ago, but it's rebloomed and put more, and I think that's just awesome. Mmm, tastes wonderful. And look at this. All in here, new growth. Look. So we will have a few more blueberries here before long. The asparagus, I came in and got three or four things of asparagus uh, yesterday and had asparagus, so I'm not sure if there's any more. Doesn't look like it, but all this is going to get cut back before long. But I'm getting asparagus. Alright, here's one I missed. This is what it looks like once you let it go. It starts growing out and turns into this. But I'm getting asparagus every two to three days, so that keeps me an asparagus in the greenhouse in August. It's August now. Our okra has just kicked it in the greenhouse. They started kicking in, growing, doing wonderful. We have one here, a couple down there, and one or two down on the end. And I'm getting okra just about every day, at least every other day, let's say, on here. And it's enough for Danny and I to have a meal. Danny's new toys. He likes this wagon. Here's one of our other little citruses. Our banana plants. Hey, look at this. Bananas everywhere. The little banana peppers. We're going to have to pick all of these right quick. These things. Look at this. I showed you from the other side. Look here. So I'm going to come through and pick these in just a moment. This is the peaches over here. Doing good. But look at this. This is what I wanted to show you. Look at here. I'm fixing to pick the, all these blackberries. Danny and I sit at the um, pier and eat blackberries. There's those that will be turning. Look at here. Enough for us to eat tonight. Look. You can't deny this greenhouse is making some awesome blackberries. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm going to be picking the blackberries here in just a minute. But I just... That's just awesome. This is August, guys. Blackberries in August. Alright, these peppers are taller than I am, too. I'm going to be taking, like, this one out. I think there's one back here. Look at there. How big. It's coming out. And some of the bales. Look at here. Now there's one or two over here that I saw that could come out. It's hard to see them. They're under there. But look at this. They look like pepper trees. Even the base looks like bark. And here's our other uh, two okras here that have been giving us one or two pods every couple of days. Isn't that beautiful? Pepper trees. We are in the process of letting some of these turn red. Look here. Beautiful. So I'm going to get in here. I'm going to pick these peppers. Our dill is going to seed. And I've been taking and harvesting the dill seeds off of all this. And now the spearmint is starting to make little heads and they're starting to turn. So I'm going to start harvesting the spearmint seeds. Okay guys, tonight I harvested quite a few peppers, all different kinds, and a handful of berries. I'm headed to the pier. Danny and I are going to eat our berries. 
and I will cut these up and freeze these tomorrow so guys I hope you enjoyed our tour tonight at I don't know 730 at night gonna go eat berries and I'll talk to you later thank you from Deep South Homestead